it is only under an atmosphere of peace and stability that you can have the environment and the atmosphere to pursue legitimate aspirations both at the geopolitical level and at the federal level. Conscious of the fact that this zone contributed so much to the success of the APC in the last presidential election, and aware that the entire South-South zone is the threshold of the opposition PDP, the APC was able to penetrate to the point that they got more than 45% of the votes in the entire six states of the South-South. We are aware of the agitations, the clamor, and the yearnings of other geopolitical zones, particularly the Southeast zone. But just like the saying goes, he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. The Southeast geopolitical zone did not come with clean hands in appreciating the presidential candidate of the APC prior to the election, during the election, and even after the election. And we don't want to be bogged down or detained with the usual narrative of saying some kind of sense of entitlement under the wrong notion that the country is sitting on a tripod. This country is sitting more than a tripod. Those who will call Hausa, Yoruba, and, and Igbo as making up that tripod are only being selfish, parochial, self-serving, and do not understand the concept of sub-nations within the larger nation. This is a clarion call to the president-elect. This is a clarion call to the leadership of the APC. This is a clarion call to opinion molders, stakeholders of the Nigerian political edifice. This is a clarion call to those who matter that they should bury their personal, self-serving, egocentric ambitions and look at the larger picture of the Nigerian Federation. The picture that will engender stability, that will engender policies of inclusion, policies of participation, policies of accommodation within the geopolitics of the country to strike the right chord in dispensing and delivering the dividends of democracy to every part of the country. When you see that position to the South-South, we will produce using the instrumentality of the legislature to choose a candidate that best suits them. But of course, we are conscious of the fact that democracy can only make meaning to people when there is a sense of belonging and actions should naturally be rewarded. Positive action should be rewarded in the concept of how much effort you put into it other than rewarding someone of trying to exploit politics of entitlement. The South-South geopolitical zone needs to be accommodated needs to be commended, needs to be included in the larger political interests across the country. And so we are appealing to you all, the media, the stakeholders, other participants in the Nigerian political uh, uh, polity to please support this call for South-South Senate Presidency.